everyone. So today I'm going to do my updated makeup collection and organization video. Once a year I like to just show you what I have and this year's video is going to be completely different because I've given away a lot of stuff, I've thrown away a lot of stuff, and I've back to mac a lot of stuff. So you're gonna see, you know, it's, it's just gonna look different than it has in previous years because most of the stuff that I threw away was, um, you know, stuff that I've accumulated over the course of a good chunk of the time that I was on YouTube. So anyways, let's get right into it. What you're looking at here is a table next to my makeup table and these are just the brushes that I washed today that I used to do my makeup. And then this little container we got from um, Edible Arrangements when we had been sent a fruit um, arrangement and I kept this to put makeup brushes in. It's just, it's perfect for that. It's just the right height and I love it. And then this little container I got at a store that you wouldn't have heard of because it's kind of a local chain type thing. So this is just uh, a hairbrush that I stuck here, but the rest of it is all lip liners. So that's what that is. And then this is just the makeup table. And on the makeup table, I just keep a package of um, wipes. And then I have this plastic thing, which I don't really remember where this came from. I think it might have come from the container store, but I'm not positive. And all these MAC lipsticks here, um, I just have them sitting here because this is going to be an upcoming video that I'm going to be doing. So I wanted to just leave them here to keep them separated out. So I hope you guys are into MAC lipsticks because there's going to be... Um, a video or multiple videos about these lipsticks and then I just leave this out because this is that Mac eyeshadow coquette that I do my brows with and this is my Mac full coverage foundation that I've been using as concealer I've got some Mac brush cleaner that I just use for spot cleaning but really I deep clean my brushes every day bottle of Mac fix plus and in this bottle is what is left of my previous bottle of MAC Fix Plus because I can't dump it in the new one because you can't just unscrew the top for some reason, unfortunately. <laughs> this is my MAC Sculpting Powder that I use for contouring every day. An EOS Lip Balm that I use to moisturize my lips just prior to doing my makeup. My Beauty Blender Sponge. Some Q-Tips some fragrance samples. This jar I found at Target for a dollar and in here I keep all my mascaras, a nail file, an eyeliner that I've been using a lot lately. It's from Boots. Uh, by the way, Boots redid their line at Target and I guess they're gonna be coming to Walgreens too soon. This is a uh, sharpener. This is a concealer that I've been using with the Benefit Oola Lift. It's Maybelline Fit Me. A tube of Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is uh, LA Splash Eye Primer that I use for really sparkly, glittery eyeshadows. And the rest are all um, mascaras. There is one little foundation primer in here, Tarte Recreate, which I've heard they've discontinued. Okay, so then next to that table is a bureau, and on top of this bureau are all these lipstick holders that I got at the Container Store, which is a nationwide chain. So I just keep my favorite lip products in here, and these are all different brands. It would take forever to go through and say what all these were. So that's where I keep my favorite lip products. Everything from my Guerlain Rouge G lipstick. There's a Tom Ford, there's a couple of Burberry's, some L'Oreal lipsticks, and, and on and on and on. And then over here is a stack of Sterlite containers, and on top of that are a bunch of MAC palettes, and these are just um, 
divided by color. So I have like a purple, a brown, a pink, a green, and so on and so forth. I just find it easier to organize them that way. That way if I'm looking for a certain MAC eyeshadow, I can just grab the one that I know it's that color. And then inside these Sterlite containers, the first drawer are a bunch of brushes that I don't really use that much or that I'm not using right now because sometimes I go through phases with brushes. And then this is just an empty MAC quad. So if I was going to be doing some traveling and I wanted to bring um, four MAC eyeshadows, I would pop them in there. Eyelash curler that never gets used because I don't like to curl my lashes for many reasons, which I won't go into right now. The next drawer, these are all eyeliners all different brands. The next draw are all Urban Decay palettes. I've got the Naked, Naked 2, Naked Basics. Um, this one is a Build Your Own palette and Ammo. These are all department store single eyeshadows. There's some oversized MAC ones, a Laura Mercier, a couple of Clarins, some Burberry, some Estee Lauder, a Stila, a Chanel, Sephora, a couple of MAC pigments. What do we got in the back here? There's an extra Urban Decay and a MAC one that needs to be departed. See that small one amongst the big ones? In this drawer I have some more lip products. Revlon, Milani, Rimmel, Beauty UK, Seventeen, Barry M. Barbara Daly, Revlon, I, did I say Revlon already? <laughs> and Ico, and Mark. And then this drawer has more lip products, um, Maybelline, Essence, Catrice, Lacura, Gosh. This drawer has lip treatment products and eyelashes and no, I, I never wear false eyelashes, but they're there if I want to. I think I've worn them like twice in my whole life. This is all um, small palettes, all different brands. Essence, Lacura, Jordana, Neutrogena, CoverGirl, Palladio, Revlon, um, lots and lots of different brands. And this is also eyeshadow palette Stila, Elf, NYX, Tarina Tarantino. And more eyeshadow palettes. Inglot, MAC, Chanel, Dior, L'Oreal, Stila, Bare Minerals, and NARS. This is my department store blush drawer. All different brands, MAC, NARS, Benefit, um, Tarte, Illamasqua. This is my drugstore blush drawer. Maybelline, Revlon, Catrice, Physician's Formula, Seventeen, New York Color, Accessorize, L'Oreal. Okay, then next to that, is my Alex Ikea unit. I've had this a long time, even before it was the popular thing to get on YouTube. I, I had seen it in someone's video, and um, but this was going back, you know, a few years ago. And uh, I thought, oh my God, that's perfect. So I got one, but since then I've seen, oh my gosh, I don't know, dozens and dozens of people on YouTube getting these because they are the perfect thing to store your makeup in. They're just, it's really well made and it holds a lot and it's white, it's pretty, I don't know. So anyways, in this I have, in the first drawer, I have brow items and concealers and face primers. And there's one eyeshadow primer, primer travel size Urban Decay Primer Potion. In the next drawer, I have foundations. I've got MAC, um, Revlon, Maybelline. I've got uh, some samples here. And 
Lacura, BB creams, that sort of thing. The next drawer is powders and bronzers, all different brands. Next drawer is highlighters, all different brands. This drawer is um, cream eyeshadows, everything from Maybelline color tattoos to a Makeup Forever Aqua Cream, there's a Laura Mercier cream eyeshadow, a couple of MAC paints, and then there's the, the stick kind too, like the NYX Jumbo Pencils and Wet n Wild Jumbo Pencils and CoverGirl Smoky Blast. And there's a NYX eyeshadow base, and this one is Catrice Cream Shadow. There's a Revlon Cream Illuminance Palette. So those are all cream eyeshadows. Then in this drawer I have all my Barry M Dazzle Dust, all my Wet n Wild palettes. In the back is a mixture of... CoverGirl, Maybelline, NYX, Love and & Beauty, and Revlon. In this next drawer I have... These are single eyeshadows from um, UK brands, Natural Collection, Makeup Academy, Accessorize, um, 17. This little basket are my L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. This basket are all Bare Minerals pigments. And then this basket is single eyeshadows by Essence, Bourjois, Catrice, and Makeup Atelier. And then, this is a change. This drawer is all nail polish. I never used to keep nail polish in this unit or anywhere in this room but um, now that I've gotten rid of a lot of my makeup I have room for some of my nail polish so the two bottom drawers are nail polish and you see I've got some, some nail wheels to play with but yeah this is all nail polish in these two bottom drawers and that is it. That's my makeup collection. So <laughs> I'm sure you noticed if you watched the previous ones that I have a lot less than I used to before. But you know what? That's good because you can only use so much makeup. If you have, you know, ridiculous amounts, then you're not going to be able to use it all. Even with the amount that I have, I have trouble like rotating products and using it all before it goes bad. So I'm making a concerted effort to try to buy less now and um, so I can use more of what I have before it spoils. So that is it you guys. If you have any questions let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye!